Hey Excel Geeks, welcome to Discover Talent Presents. In this series, we are going to cover topic called Excel formulas for job interview. Okay, so if in case you are a fresher, uh, you are experience holder and you are applying for a new job, you are in a new role in the data analytics, right? And you want to learn more about MS Excel and what type of, you know, Excel formula is most frequently asked by the interviewer, right? Those particular formulas, we are trying our level best to accommodate it in the top 10 formulas. So here formulas, we will be explain you each, right? Before we begin, just wanted to give you the heads up, right? If in case you are looking out for a job, then we have our job partner, which is Jobs 24-7. Just follow this link along, right? And share your resumes wherever have the opportunities. You will get it for sure. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. I'll just click on tip number one here is the function which is some function which we know already right but there is a another way as well because a, when we apply for one position right there are numerous employees as well who are applying for the same position then why recruiter will hire you okay so here we tips how you can calculate the sum easy way steady way right so those kind of tips we are going to share you over here in this entire video series okay so i've just added the dummy data over here okay and the subject one subject two subject three will work parallelly right so you will understand how exactly it works so let me add a formula called rand between okay so this is basically the values we'll get it from to analyze the uh, sum right so basically i need a bottom value is 80 comma 50 so between this value it will pick automatically by excel okay so i'll pick this as a 20 and then i'll just drag it down like this cool so this is the random values i have received from excel and then i'll just make sure that you know i'll make it as a values okay this will help us to work on the some formula okay so as everyone know right what we usually do we do is equal to sum and then we select like this and then click here then we get the sum function okay a the another method as soon as you hit a sum function you can just drag it like this you will get the value like this delete it and then you can also click alt is equal to okay when you press alt key is equal to you will see the sum automatically get added is equal to alt is equal to and then alt is equal to likewise you can do for another method select this click here okay and then click on the total section click here on the down you will get a total like this so this is how you can you know do a sum for your respective worksheet wherever you are doing your interview those kind of stuff you can automatically do it for cracking your interview right so this is the sum function which is our formula one i'll delete this part and the similar table will use for other tables as well to get a line on the function line and uh, to crack the interview so moving ahead if in case any questions in regards with the sum formulas feel free to drop in below comment section i am happy to answer those post this video average function okay i'll just again paste these values over here i'll adjust this and then will add a formula called is equal to average we'll select this line enter and then we'll just drag it like this we get an average for these values okay similar way we'll do it like this total average okay here we go 
so this is for an average again um, as while we are working on this average function I'll quickly show you once again this uh, sum one as well okay when we click on this sum just ensure that you are selecting this quick analysis total and then sum okay you will get a sum over here as well and then total again sum like this so overall total like this or column wise and the row wise this is how beautiful function which we are getting from Microsoft Excel and right now we are working on the paid version of Microsoft 365 which are amazing features and functions which is available by the Microsoft right average is done now we are moving ahead which is VLOOKUP function okay majority of you know right how VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and this basic function works right so this is a name I'm taking so basically why we use a VLOOKUP so VLOOKUP is a vertical lookup value when we have a multiple spreadsheets that time suppose one value is unique right the unique key suppose the Ashwini uh, or maybe Samira for that matter right I have this name available in the second worksheet over here and I want to fetch a value for subject 3 okay so I'll get it how with the help of VLOOKUP function so let me show you how this is a subject 3 I want a result for each name so I'll do it VLOOKUP function lookup value is this comma table array would be this okay when we select this value right you can see this 4c 4c is a 4 column 16r is a 16th row right so now we need a column so that's what it's a 4 so we'll mark it as a 4 and then we'll pick it as a 0 for exact match true for approximate match okay we usually do a 0 so mark it as a 0 and then just drag it down when I filter it out over here you could see Shwini Samira Sobit Sapna Sobit I think yeah and uh, the random names I'm just seeing it over here right so cool so this is the data set 48 28 likewise we can see over here as well so this is how VLOOKUP function works so let's move ahead and let's understand the HLOOKUP function now now likewise a VLOOKUP we have a HLOOKUP function so when we have this data set like this let me copy and paste it over here this will fetch a value which is available in a horizontal form meaning suppose a this table is entirely available in the form of horizontal okay so when I do a control alt V I'll do a transpose okay this is the value and uh, when we have this particular value in this segment you need to ensure that you are using a HLOOKUP function correct so subject one this HLOOKUP lookup value this comma table array would be again this let me select this again you can see again four row and 16th column okay so now when I say row index it's asking me for a row index I need a second row so that is what I'm just typing as a second and then zero over here okay so I'll get a value which is this cool and then when you drag it down you will get the entire values which is available for the respective table let's move ahead if condition now uh, I'll again copy this table and paste it over here 
let me adjust this okay now if if is a condition basically whenever we have the result right suppose I am a marking this as a total like this okay and uh, now I want a if condition for this suppose is equal to if I'll say if logical test if uh, this value is equal to greater than 90 then pass otherwise fail okay so I have added this over here and then I will drag it down so what I am saying over here the value which is greater than 90 okay only the student who are getting those marks are passed otherwise remaining would be fail likewise over here you could see these people are fail so this is how you can use a if condition okay let's move ahead copy this next and then here we have the index match now I've intentionally put the value over here which is uh, apple banana orange and grape okay and the remaining values which is default values when I want a specific value okay for the banana okay that time we use this index and match this is kind of on a VLOOKUP only but uh, majority times we use this when we have a larger data sets right we try to avoid a VLOOKUP because the values are cross reference right so that hash reference error what is the meaning of hash reference so basically when we are adding a reference value okay that time the reference we are selecting okay that's incorrect so that's the reason we are fetching the value which is called hash reference let me correct that uh, in this formula and here we have added a two formulas which is row number 10 and 11 row number 11 is I have combined trim function as well and index match as well I'll explain you both the part first we'll rectify the hash reference okay and uh, here is the thing so if this is the formula and then let me just change this reference okay as soon as I do it I get this value okay now let me just check this uh, bottom one value which is trim why we have added a trim when we have a white spaces added in the column or maybe text where we are referring the value that time we will add a trim function trim function will help us to remove a white space so what is the meaning of white space so when I select this formula and let me add the white space in between banana and uh, on the front of the banana so let's just let me click on that option so here is the thing and I'll just click on the space you can see the another error which is hash na meaning uh, a formula is correct you know but the white space is added okay so for that we have added a trim function simple okay so this is how we can effectively use index trim and match function along with that yeah and uh, let me just add here is equal to index and then this is the selection which is d1 to d4 bracket match function and then I'll select a appropriate content this time which is Apple lookup value this is my lookup array basically right lookup value we already selected which is lookup array now exact match which we needed which we have already explained to you and hit enter you could see 5 is there uh, if in case there is a white space in between for Apple right 
uh, that time we need to add a trim so let me add a white space now you could see the error which is hash na which is again error handling technique i am teaching you folks okay, okay. so now in the count of let I me just copy this table from the previous sheet and just paste it over here as soon as i paste this is the value we which have added the function already right considering the time right because otherwise video will get long so that's what so 45 overall the greater than 10 are 45 times reflecting in this particular sheet so that is the reason we have added as a county function so this is how it looks like okay now let's move to the tip number eight and the tip number which is eight is concatenate concatenate again i'll just copy this uh, we need to modify this entire table because the concatenate will fulfill the requirement as per the concatenations requirement yeah so let me just add insert this and then delete this value entirely first name and last name i'm just trying to my level best to create it okay you can just uh, happily consider that you know it's in a first and last name okay this is the last name I for me Ahuja and the first name is this and the last name okay again this is the full name usually we see right uh, in MS Excel so that's that's what I'm doing it over here concatenate first okay comma last okay just randomly I'm just showcasing you when we do a first and last usually showcase like this we don't want a data like this we want a space in between right so that for that what we need to do we need to add a double inverted comma with space okay which will help us to give the space in between first and uh, last name okay so this is what we did it uh, and here we go we got the concatenation this you can do it for your uh, address updation pin code okay uh, so you can concatenate that basis your requirement sometimes email IDs as well right so this is how it works and let's move ahead for the tip number nine tip number nine and here we go error in calculation so if error function basically suppose I'm calculating a HRA okay on the given salary and uh, there is an error okay so for that I need to plot some data first okay to make you understand how it looks like okay I'm just dividing this value with uh, 9 and adding some random value first just drag it down the formula uh, adding some random values the if error is a uh, help you to identify if any error available in the spreadsheet this will uh, help you to identify so and so error has been available for so and so list so you just need to rectify suppose I have added intentionally text over here now you can see hash value error okay meaning there is no value it's added a text as well somewhere salary so now what i will do uh, on the e9 sale what i will do i'll add a if error function and then comma I'll add a text so whatever text you are you are comfortable with you can you know definitely add that text okay I'm just adding this statement there is in a, there is a error in a salary just randomly and just drag it down okay it will not affect uh, anywhere else it's only effect to the wherever error is available right so if any error available then it's reflect us that so and so error is available yeah this is how it works if error now let's move ahead fast uh, and last but not the least our most beautiful sum if function okay sum if is majorly used everywhere uh, in the organization uh, wherever you are working with right and if in case you are 
new just wanted to give you the heads up some if is very important function some we already seen now some if it will total basis the criteria which you are adding okay so right now let me just add a sum if function over here I will select the small table for now to make you understand how it works okay what I will do I'll select a month and the duration okay so sum if and then I'll select a range I'll select this range okay if I select this entirely uh, you will not get to understand it's, is it a real or no so that's what no let me just select a couple of uh, cells okay for you guys I selected this rows and uh, two columns second rows and two columns comma I'll add a criteria over here let me add those criteria which is may because it's a duplicate may right so I'll select a may and the sum range sum range from so and so you can select this entirely or maybe this I'll select this bracket close and press enter you could see the May month uh, total whatever it is right it will reflecting over here cool so this is how uh, it's entirely looks like and your opinion matter section okay folks uh, your comments are uh, really important for us guiding us a forward content okay truly matters for us please please hit this big red button okay and subscribe our channel thank you so very much have a great day ahead